So this is an, an in-depth look on how I made this podcast tripod stand. Uh, I don't know what to call it, honestly. It's not gonna be like an over comprehensive view. I'm just gonna take this apart and show you what it looks like and then take a picture of that and then you can um, like do whatever you want with it. <laughs> stand. That's what I'm going to call it. I'm just going to call it a tripod stand. So these are all the pieces that I've used. Um, the, the number one trouble that I had when I originally made it, I was making, I was making these pegs. Uh, these are made from bamboo and I was thinking they would work just fine, but they weren't enough to give it uh, so it'd stay put where I wanted it. Uh, so I went to Home Depot and bought this really long rod, it was like super long, and then I cut it in pieces. Now I could have cut all of the pieces this size, which is actually what I would recommend for you. So and this is about an inch and three quarters. So if you're gonna do exactly what I did, that's what you can do. In all honesty, if you're going to make exactly what I have, I recommend just going to Amazon and buying it uh, because it, what they have on Amazon w works much better. But if you plan on making something like this, but huge, then yeah, that would be awesome to see. I'd love to see that. These other pieces, I'll just go down the line. The iPhone holder, and these were made from chopsticks. All of this, all these uh, metal pieces I picked up from Home Depot. Bought these really huge washers because you, you want the huge washers to give enough support so you're not destroy your cardboard and it won't work. Uh, these things right here are uh, actually really important in making sure that your uh, tripod head part itself stays put. Uh, it's an extra just ring uh, that goes inside your cardboard uh, to fit this. Basically really makes this head stiff so when you do have your your phone on it it's going to stay wherever you move it they're not just cardboard I took some I hot glued I just put some hot glue on both sides of this cardboard ring and the hot glue gave it some uh, sticky like a rubber feel to it to keep it more uh, stiff it grips the cardboard the part that really makes this work, this whole thing work, are these connecting pieces. Play around with them on their shape and design. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll answer them in the video or in the comments below. All right, so I guess the last thing to, to cover is this thing. So these look like chopsticks. I could have used chopsticks, but I, instead I used um, skewers. So these are skewers that I had placed and they just fit inside the cardboard uh, and they help to give it that structure that it needs for the support going forward. Now, I, when I was filming with this, I would just stack a bunch of books on this end and that's how I would secure the whole thing in place. Uh, another thing that was a bit of a challenge was these aluminum rings here, which holds the rubber band. And so you put your rubber bands in here, these loops. You can put the loops in the cardboard itself, but then you run the risk of the cardboard ripping away. So instead, I made these loops, um, and this, these guys were made from basically these, whatever you call this, you basically get these things at any grocery store in the bulk section. So when you buy things in bulk and you're wrapping, you need something to, to tie it with, that's where you find these. So 
Well, I, I originally just kept the paper on it, uh, which wasn't actually a good idea because the stickiness that holds this stuff in place isn't as strong as I thought it was going to be. Uh, one of these came out after I glued it. The other one has stayed in, so you can still, if you look closely, you can see the paper still uh, wrapped around that. Each one of these has about th three or five of these. So I would rip, I, I would recommend ripping the, uh, the paper off of them and then twisting the four or five of them together um, so you, for about an inch, I think that's about an inch, just in the center, okay? And then from there, you take the ends of them and you spread the ends out and then curl the tips of them. So inside this, the wires are going like that. So that's how the wires look inside the cardboard. This is three pieces of cardboard glued together. And in between two of those is this wire that inside it kind of like spreads out in that circular fashion. That way when the glue finished drying, um, it's all really solid and it doesn't want to come out because of Basically, it branches out like the roots. I'll give you a close look on where the holes are on this because that's kind of important to make sure that the holes are where they are because it helps for the movement of the legs. Okay, now if I remember right, I put this on backwards to test it out because, oh well, it works. It just works. That's all I can tell you. Um, you have to experiment and that's how it's done. All right, and then these are just normal rubber bands. The rubber bands weren't long enough so I basically kind of tied them, looped them and tied them together. So this is how I did that. You look closely, it goes through and voila, that's it. All right, so I'll put it back together real quick in a time lapse and we'll call this video done. Thanks so much guys for watching. Um, subscribe to my channel if you find this interesting. I think I'm going to make more um, videos on stuff that I make instead of just stuff that I do. So keep an eye out for that and cheers. I also put um, plumber's tape on the uh, so it will prevent the screws from loosening themselves. So another tripod design that I would recommend is this. This is what I've been using a lot recently for my selfie and my the vlogging, really basic. So it's like this really small tripod uh, that then I've added this weird arm thing. I forget what they call it. Uh, but I'll throw my camera and my phone on the top here I can use it as a, as a selfie stick, a really nice selfie stick, uh, and then set it down like so. It takes two hands. Loosen this, and that then allows me to adjust exactly where I want my camera to go, uh, in any which way, however high I want it to be, and, and then I just tighten this, and it stays there. That works great. I designed that for motion shots because that actually does help if you're trying to do like a certain motion. But this right here is just for a stationary shot. Yeah. And I'll put links in the description of where to get these as well.